how does Luminati collect its residential peers? Luminati has an SDK, which is a software development kit that is implemented into applications. The Luminati SDK provides an alternative to advertisements by providing the app user with the choice to opt in to Luminati's network instead. So to become a peer, three conditions must be met. The device must be idle or not in use. It has to be connected to the internet and it has to be plugged into a power source or have battery power over 60%. So how do we get user consent? Well, once an application owner includes Luminati SDK within their application, the end user will get a message that clearly asks whether the user would like to opt into the Luminati network instead of seeing advertisements or having to subscribe. Now, most of the app or software users will prefer to improve their user experience by removing their ads and thus opt in to the network. And with that, the conversion rate is very high. And again, the users can choose to opt out at any time. This end user is merely a tunnel exit node, which means that Luminati does not collect any information or data. This also means that the traffic routed through the user's device or exit node is completely transparent. This is the same tunnel used by an ISP that routes traffic and ensures the end user is not susceptible to malware. Partners that have integrated Luminati's SDK have seen an increase in retention as well as user engagement by offering an alternative to, again, subscriptions and advertisements. Um, the Luminati mobile network was created in the same fashion as the residential network, but rather than a PC, it is an Android device.